Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be sharing six common lies that Satan loves to tell women. So the first lie that he loves to say is you are not beautiful, which we all completely know that that is a lie. And here's what God says about our beauty. So we're going to be looking in the Bible for what God says, of course, because the Bible is God's word and it is directly God's word. So that's where we're going to be looking to find out what God says about that lie in order to break that lie out and break it down and not give Satan a foothold. So um, the first place that we're going to be going, if you'd like to keep up with me on this, I'll have the references on the screen here, is 1 Peter 3 three through four. So I've got mine tabbed all the way. So that's how I'm getting there fast. First Peter three, three through four. Okay. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. For this is the way the holy women of the past who put their hope in God used to adorn themselves. So, yeah, it doesn't come from outward beauty because outward beauty fades so fast. Like, when I talk to older women and um, they're believers in Christ, um, they explain and have explained to me that outward beauty does not last. And as soon as it's gone, it's gone. And then what you have left is what's inside. So, yeah, let's go on to the next um, verse, 2 Corinthians 4. 16 second corinthians 4 16 um here we go second corinthians 4 16 therefore we do not lose heart though outwardly we are wasting away yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all so yeah it talks about how um, inwardly we can be renewed day by day, day in and day out, only by the power of the Lord Jesus, even when our beauty fails outwardly. So I want you all to see that inward beauty is something that is lasting, eternally lasting, whereas outward beauty is fickle and fastly gone. So let's move on to the next verse here. Ephesians 2.10 Ephesians 2.10. Trying to get there quickly too. Okay, here we go. Ephesians 2.10. Um, for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And that verse basically um, brings to light that we are to live in a way where God is getting all the glory and um that is the most beautiful because when you fully understand god and how good he is and how faithful he is to us we want to glorify him and his beauty will be in reflected in us when we are showing that to others so um yeah some others that i have written down here are genesis 1 27 matthew 6 28 through 29 first samuel 16 7 and ecclesiastes 3 11 if you want to look more into um, unpacking beauty in the eyes of the lord